fuck him, fuck kill the house. Killing a motherfucker every time you and walk fucking a motherfucker's head. bitch. Yeah, this battle might just fight yeah. the murder rate more than Reagan and Benton crack cocaine. Okay. Okay. So if you ain't with that, turn this shit off and suck a dick. They like, yo, extract. Why you always talk about the thugs and the techs? The slugs and the feds? The drugs and the checks? I give them a 360 shrug to the neck. Like, this is battle rap, motherfucker. What you expect? I don't care if you was a lean sipper or you sipping that mean liquor. My team squeeze triggers. Blow his guts out, see if he got a clean liver. <laughs> Boy, you look mad fake, like them high frame rate TV pictures. You think you being grim, I leave him stretched out, you read Richards. <laughs> Fantastic Four when I let the palm cop. When I let the thing go, you could tell it he ain't a hard rock. Adam, Adam, what did that one mean? It's a superhero line. The other guy's name is Ben Grimm, which is the thing's alter ego from Fantastic Four. Reed Richards is the leader of the group, the stretchy guy. Yeah, that part I got. What's the other meaning? You know, letting go of a thing. What's the thing? It's a gun. It's a gun metaphor. Probably just assume everything is a gun metaphor. And I kill anybody on this artist stage. Y'all know my slogan, get this trash out of here. It's garbage day! What you gonna do, Grim? I just called you garbage. What you gonna do? You said you got the thing on you. Where's that? Is it there? Is it here? I guess they must call your gun Sue Storm, because that bitch just disappeared. So he should do the right thing and walk away before I beat him to death. Cause he gonna feel that eight in these punches. I'm ready on my aim with the left. This motherfucker go online and Google fool porn. As is known to you, porn. You so fat, when you tuck a gun in your waist, you need to use a fucking shoe on. Uh-uh. I'ma take it past rap. Catch him not looking and drain the Mac fast. The way I blindsided this fat nigga, Sandrick Bullock can save his black ass. Yeah, that's right. You used to be the shit. But lately, X fell in tears. It's the same as you outgrowing your shirt sizes. We ain't seen X XL in years. Why does he keep saying X so much? He's doing name flips. The guy's name is X Tracks, thus the X bars. Bars? It comes from the music term, like a bar of music, except in battle rap, it has a specific connotation, a bar instead of a line. And the difference is? It's hard to explain. More wordplay, most bars are based on homophones. X, XL, X, XL. Oh, so if there's a homophobe, it's a bar. A phone. And your baby mom's only with you to collect those checks, bro. He be giving way more than just hugs and kisses to the X. Ho, X, O. You wifed up a slut who gets piped down religiously like she's some sort of wasp. And you let her raise your seed? What, you thought you found a horticulture? Your baby boy is born, she got you. I know you wish you would have left that load in the hose mouth. How your name extract when you don't know when to pull out? Oh, that is a bar. Oh, OK, I get it. So the defining characteristic of a bar is just how much gross misogyny you can cram into one sentence. Don't worry, it's, it's all an act. I don't think Extract even has kids. It's all for the sake of wordplay. Puns about hating women. Aw. Look, I don't know how anybody can be a good person when they spend all of their time thinking about horrible things to say about someone. <laughs> See, I just dug your grave so they could put your fat ass corpse into it. It's so ironic, as much as you lift a fork, now they got a fork lift you. Oh!